Outlaw Biker Gang in High Security Prison. That's what I'm talking about in this video. And um, the Outlaws Biker Gang are the rivals to the Hells Angels. And a lot of you will probably remember the case. Uh, it was in 2007. I was actually already in Franklin at the time when this happened. The, the Outlaw Biker Gang killed uh, a Hells Angel rival. They'd been at the Bulldog Bash down at Warwickshire. And on the way back from the festival, uh, the Outlaw Biker Gang were waiting near the motorway, waiting for a fully fledged member of the Hells Angels, patched up member to come past. Um, and then they were going after him. So uh, this, this Hells Angel, Jerry Tobin, coming back from the Bulldog Bash, was driving past on his motorbike and a car had come up, followed him behind, driving up and two, two of the defendants or whoever leant out of the window and fired off a couple of shots. One of them hit him in the head, killed him, come off the bike. And <clears throat> afterwards, there was seven members of the outlaw biker gang Convicted, got found guilty of murder, but Sean Crichton, there yeah, I think he was the one of the leaders of the Outlaw Biker Gang. He um, he pleaded guilty on the day of the trial to try and get the rest of his yeah uh, his friends off the Biker Gang. So he pled guilty on the day of the trial just to try and obviously take it on his toes and try and get his friends off, but. All, all seven of them got convicted, and that was, um, I think the trial might have been in 2008, the murder happened in 2007, and in 2008, this is when I met them, uh, the Outlaw Biker Gang, I think there was four of them came to Franklin, but I can only remember three of them, um, I can remember Carl Gorside, Ian Cameron, and Sean Crichton, and... They were a canny set of lads, to be honest. Obviously, whatever happens on outside doesn't have nothing to do with the likes of me, who's in Franklin already serving time. So uh, when you come across prisoners like that, obviously you don't judge them about what happened on the outside because it's got nothing to do with you. You're now living with these in the high security estate in the prison. So uh, they now become, a lot of them become your friends and you get on with them. And that's how it is when you're in prison. You just want to get on with your time. And you, you become friends with certain people, and or even if you don't become friends, you become sociable. You speak to these people every day because you're passing them. And from the three that I mentioned, Carl, Ian, and Sean, they were all like I say, they were all decent lads. Um, I didn't really speak with Ian Cameron as much because he was he was quite quiet compared to Crichton. We used to call him Crichton in there, I think, I because uh, he was quite a uh, he was quite a character, Crichton. He was always laughing on, uh, making, having bits of fun, as you're doing there, because you're in a bad situation, being locked up in prison. <clears throat> so you have like a a funny sense of humour. A lot of people have a dark sense of humour, and you get people out a bit like Crichton, who's a character, and he makes you, he makes the rest of the lads on the wing laugh. Um, and Carl Gorside, he was. He was all right as well. Most of the time I seen him, it was when we were down the gym. And um, he was quite quiet as well, Carl. Like I see, the, the loudest one and the funniest one out of the bunch was Crichton. And, um, but I'm not sure where the rest of them went. There was, like I see, there were seven of them all together. And these they were all rivals, like I see, with the Hells Angels. But if you look up on YouTube or Google, you'll see the full story. It's got everything about it in there. Apparently, um, with what goes on inside these motorbike gangs, they had to get confirmation from the United States, like the head of the uh, the head of the outlaw biker gang. He had to sanction the the go ahead for someone to uh, to get hit over, obviously over here in the UK. And the reason why it happened, just from what I've read and what I've seen myself was because the Bulldog Bash 
was organised by the Hells Angels, but it was actually on outlaw territory, so they took it as a bit of an insult, and they didn't like the fact that the Hells Angels were on their turf, and that's why the hit happened. And they, um, there wasn't a just specific hit, like the, this, the man, Jerry Tobin, he was from, he was a part of the, he was a Canadian Hells Angel. He must have just, I don't know if he lived over here or whether he was just over here just for that bash. But he wasn't like a picked out intended target. They were just looking for anybody just to, to make a statement to say like, this is our territory and you shouldn't be in it. But um, they all ended up getting um, life with a recommendation of, I think the majority of them got 28 years. One of them got 30 years. I know Crichton, he got a tariff of 28 years where he's got to serve 28 years before he's considered for parole. So it's, it was in 2008, which was about, what, 13, 13 years ago. So they're not even halfway through the sentence yet. But um, I know one of the, oh, I don't know one of them, but I've read that one of them, Dean Taylor, he died in high security prison. In 2019, he'd been uh, battling cancer, and he, um, obviously he didn't make it through his sentence. I think yeah, I think when I read on it, he was about 59 year old. But um, I'm not sure where the rest of them are now, whether they're still in Franklin or not. But like I say, when I do these videos, I just speak as I find. I don't talk about judging them on what they've done because obviously it's nothing to do with me i just speak facts about me meeting them and how they were with me or uh, in the high security and whilst we were in there like i see they didn't have any trouble they didn't cause trouble they're just in there getting on with the time and just passing the sentence um like i see they used to go to the gym that's where i started talking to them at um is that's where a lot of and a lot of the socialising does, when you're on the wings, you've got your own little groups that you stay with and then you talk amongst, you walk past, you say hello, but when you're down in the gym, mixing about, that's when you start having a bit more to do with people when you're having conversations or just having a bit chat about anything just to pass the time. Um, but yes, that's my take on the, the outlaw biker gang that I come across whilst I was in Franklin, Rivals of the Hells Angels. But um, I'll leave that one there for now, people. But I will be uploading more videos soon. So if you like me content, remember to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll be uploading more videos soon about the notorious criminals that I met whilst I was in Franklin. Enjoy the rest of your day, people. Take care.